Happy Halloween, WCHS. Today we will spook you all with ghost stories, show you the background of this creepy holiday we call Halloween, and we'll have our very first pumpkin carving studio contest in here in the studio. We have one person from each grade and one staff member participating. This is Trey Tesdall, Cassie Crick, Keegan Parks, Austin Elm, and Mrs. Schrader. Now, now that those intros are out of the way, it's time to get started. Three, two, one, carve. Here's Mrs. Schrader. I uh, can't talk now. This is kind of hard. Working. Yeah, I bet. It looks like everyone's making some good progress, but they have a long way to go. You're right. I know I couldn't carve a pumpkin in this much time. Um, I could. I'm pretty much amazing at these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep carving, everyone, while we go to Cody Dayton and learn about the history behind this haunted holiday. I'm oh, sorry. Was I okay? Hi, WCHS. Have you ever wondered what Halloween was like before it was known as All Hallows Eve? If you have, hang on. We're going to travel back through time and venture into this holiday. It all started with the ancient Celtics, who were overran by Romans. The Celtics' original holiday was originally called Samhain. This tradition was usually celebrated on October 31st as a day of harvest. Their belief was that the souls of the dearly departed returned to earth on this one night and destroyed crops. They usually wore animal masks during the celebrations. When the Europeans came and wiped out the Celtics, they merged their two similar holidays together with the Celtics's. The first was called Feralia. On this day, the Romans commemorated the passing of their loved ones. And the second festival, which was a day to celebrate Pomona, the Roman goddess of fruit and trees. When European immigrants started spanning the globe, they took the culture of the festival with them, spreading it to many countries, including the U.S. It was first called Halloween in 1000 A.D. Sadly, at the start of Halloween in America, it was rarely celebrated due to the religious beliefs of some. After it caught on, Americans would dress up going house to house for either food or money, which is where it is believed we got trick-or-treating from. But we're not the only ones with customs surrounding this day. Other countries celebrate it differently on different days. Button. What is La Toussaint? La Toussaint is the French All Saints Day, and it's celebrated November 1st and 2nd. How is La Toussaint celebrated? Uh, for the most part, families gather together, and they go to the cemeteries, and they honor their loved ones who have passed with chrysanthemums and food and money. So a little bit like our memorial. Do you celebrate La Toussaint? on Memorial Day, but not on November 1st and 2nd. I prefer Dia de los Muertos. But we're not the only ones with customs surrounding this day. Other countries celebrate it differently on different days. What is Day of the Dead? Day of the Dead is a holiday that many South American countries celebrate in order to honor the dead. Um, they dress up, um, wear masks, they have long celebrations. Um, they make special foods as offerings to the dead, um, so it's very much so a day of honoring the people that they have loved and passed away. Do you partake in Day of the Dead festivities? Um, we try to do some of the stuff. We usually watch a movie and do some activities over it. Um, do we actually celebrate the Day of the Dead? No. Go to the cemetery and leave offerings? Um, I do not go to leave offerings. Um, I was never allowed to ha celebrate Halloween when I was a kid, so I was never brought up to go to the cemetery and leave offerings for my family. You're out of here. Sleep right, eat right, eat right. Any 
Wow, Miss Schrader, you really get into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> what does Halloween mean to you? Dark, spooky, and candy bars. Do you ever see kids from your class at your door? No, but there's been a couple that have come to my door and they kind of end up like this. What is your favorite costume? A cowboy. Yeehaw! Well, looks like I better get going. Looks like I'm running out of time as well. Happy Halloween, WCHS! Thanks, Cody. It's good to know that there's a reason why we're dressed like we are today. To keep the tradition of Halloween going. And to keep these competitors in line. No throwing elbows. No touching each other's pumpkins. And no throwing the seeds. Geez, Morgan, this holiday isn't supposed to be all about rules. Have a little fun. You know what's fun? Seeing a dark room telling spooky stories. I always make everyone jump with the, t with the tales I tell. Let's not get carried away there, Morgan. You could not scare anyone. That's not true. I tell the best scary stories around. Uh, that sounds pretty questionable to me. Here's Becca Gertis, master storyteller, with some terrifying tales. The legend is, if you sit on three gravestones, you'll be able to speak to the dead. But you'll pay for it with your life. This, however, was not the case for three high school football players on Halloween night in 1976. Yeah. They pulled into the graveyard in the middle of a large, open area. They had heard the legend and decided to try it, but one of them refused. He sat down and watched the other boys run from one grave to the next. Then, the boy sensed that something was wrong. He looked up, and his friends had disappeared. In the instant he had looked down, they were now gone. Students here at WCHS seem to really enjoy ghost stories, especially during the month of October. They're a great tradition of Halloween. But why is it that we enjoy them so much? Is it because they're scary? Or is it because they're funny? Let's get to the bottom of these questions with the help of some WCHS students. Why do you enjoy ghost stories? Because I think they're really funny. Um, I think they really keep us on the edge of our seats. Yeah, we really like to be scared. Students here at WCHS seem to enjoy ghost stories quite a bit. The funny ones and especially the scary ones. Here at the Media Center, there's plenty of books to check out. Let's go to Mrs. Hauk and see what she has to say on ghost stories. How often do students come in looking for ghost stories? Students come in pretty frequently for looking for ghost stories. What type of ghost stories do you enjoy? I personally prefer nonfiction. So it's not only students here at WCHS that enjoy ghost stories. The staff enjoys them too. I'm Becca Gertis, and with all these spooky stories going around, I'm going to have a tough time getting to sleep. Oh, Morgan, we're back! Whoops! Thanks, Becca. Your future gave me the chills. We just got a little distracted judging these pumpkins. We can't pick a winner, and our time is up. So now it's up to you, WCT viewers. To vote for your favorite pumpkin, get on the high school website and vote for who you think is best. Make sure you vote. So, Morgan, you won't have much time to go trick-or-treating this Saturday. You'll be running at the cross-country state meet with Alex Lamp. I sure will. Come over to Fort Dodge, support the links, and bring some candy. I'll be there for sure. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a safe and spectacular Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to the Halloween edition of WCTV. <laughs> Set a picture now.